So I was like, okay, that means uh, you what do you kiss, think it means? What do you think you it kiss means? a lot of girls and then they kiss you back? That's what I. That's thought. what I like, thought too. That's what I thought too. <laughs> there's lore. There, no, like there's actually a real meaning. What is it? So I googled it because I'm yeah. like, okay, this is kind of fire shirt. I wonder where this is from. Uh huh. And I went to like a Reddit post, and then they said the actual meaning is, I snatch kisses and vice versa. Mm -hmm. Vice versa of, of I snatch kisses is I kiss snatches. <laughs> oh wait, what snatches? Wait, whoa! <laughs> what snatches? Yo, if I've you have if you have to Google it, you can Google it. But like, that's what it means. Wait, can I? I'm a, what what is a snatch? Nah, don't even say that at the beginning of the podcast, man. We can't. We can't. It's that bad. No, it's just like it's like eh. You know what I mean? That's what it means. Oh, I, I didn't know what it means. You know what I mean? We're like. But that's it, crazy yeah i didn't know i didn't know yeah so that's why it's, it's like my pajama shirts high key i'm wearing pajamas right now what? i'm not even gonna cap to you <laughs> but i don't want to like wear something like too formal on yeah, the podcast yeah. man. Okay. i'm like i'm not yeah, fucking pants to my side i'm wearing a whole <laughs> bun <laughs> <laughs> no that's what i said i'm just joking i'm joking bro i'm joking fam. anyways <laughs> now nah, but it's one of those like i never want to i never want to like care too much about what i'm wearing or nah no bro because like when I go out mm -hmm. and like specific like events, yeah, I have to be like the best dressed. Okay, I get that. You know, I get that. I get that. Because if it's like um, when we went to the crater thing, mm -hmm. you're like, yo, this is like the Met Gala of craters. Mm -hmm. So instead of putting a nice button up shirt, yeah, what do I feel the most comfortable and I could be myself in is streetwear clothes. So I wear all my baggy shit, like the most like the weirdest shoes ever. Mm -hmm. But I felt myself in that in that like area. Yeah, but the reason like I'm I'm buying like kind of cool pajamas and and just I, I guess like nice and regular clothes yeah, yeah. And so no matter what i put on it's fire wow. you get me so, so like I, I literally threw out like all of my shit that's whack wow so every, every single one like if, if it can't look good on an ig post Yo. i don't have it no more go look at my closet damn so this not guy one went piece from, this guy went from business clothes and ties to oh, i still have that too oh, you still have that so the, what i'm saying though is like whatever i wear it's gonna look good okay mm that's just me being egotistical. So you're, just, you're just making you're making it lazier. So it's like, oh, if I if yeah. I dress, I'm gonna normalize this. So mm. men, when I put a suit and tie on, they can be like, oh, he's actually dressed. Because the biggest the biggest slip up was um, getting me used to wearing uniform. Because mm. when we were in when high school, we wore uniform at our high school. Yeah, dog, it's actually a lot to go and think about like what you're gonna wear. Yeah, you can imagine though the days we had non uniform. Holy men's smoke. were stressing like, yo, can I borrow this? Can I borrow this? Yeah. This looks good with this. Like, dog. It should be you put on whatever you have and it looks good anyway because that's like your whole aesthetic. That's like your vibe. Yeah, yeah bro. The that's what I'm working on. <laughs> it was full on fashion shows in high school when we were like, uh, non uniform day came. Fam, everyone looked like fucking highlighters wearing the most like neon clothing. You remember the girls who wore like the neon uh, wrestling, <laughs> like the no, jumpsuits? No, they didn't wear that. Yeah, they did, fam. They no did. way they wore that. Yes, it was so crazy. The combinations that mans were putting together was so absolutely insane. But everyone's like, if you think about if you really deep it, mm -hmm. it's like, actually, would you say this? Uh -huh. There's almost like a core of, of there's a regular core. You a, get me? There's yeah, like, like, a, a, like a norm core? No, 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 not even like. That's what it's called, okay, norm core. Let's say you go to, you, you go to like Marshalls okay. or you go to like uh, the Bay. The yeah. Bay is like Sears for you guys. Uh -huh. So when you walk in there and look at the clothes, it's almost like all the same aesthetic. Yeah, low key. You get me? Yeah, it's like basic. It's like yeah. Plain. I don't know. It's I don't like, know what it's called though. I don't know what it's called. It's like just if like plain. If clothes, like if plain was a word, those are the clothes. You, you know those gonna... polos, fam, that are like. Um... You know the guy? No, no. From okay, this is the best analogy. Uh, Minecraft Steve clothes. That's a days. No, but that's facts though. It's it's regular blue jeans and some uh next brand. No no design on it. Just a regular blue shirt. That's that's Sears and Winners. Yo, but sometimes they do have graphics too. Uh, kind of, but it's like the whack ones, like that. Like you could find that. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> No, I'm talking about I'm talking about the graphics that have like like a wave on it and shit. You know oh I mean? yeah, yeah, like yeah. But at the same time, like yo, just wear what you want, man. Like nobody's gonna care. I recently stopped going to the thrift stores because I haven't been going mm -hmm. like recently, and I finally went back. All I seen was like Minecraft shirts and Angry Birds shirts, and oh, I got yeah. I got myself the fuck out of there, bro. I couldn't do that no more. Watch, that's that's gonna be it's gonna be ironic, but it's gonna be drippy. Watch, oh watch. Give oh it like God. give it like maybe two more years. It's yeah. gonna be ironic but drippy because that's what everything is. Right.
it was ironic to wear like baggy jeans yeah and then now it's drippy it was ironic to wear like skinny jeans back in like the 80s yeah now it's drippy whatever's ironic becomes drippy shout out virgil virgil taught me that oh that's true not that i know him (laughs) no but i'm telling you bro every single thing that we're clowning right now Mm. you're gonna look at him be like oh shit it was kind of cool yeah it's just that it's we're we're not we're not accustomed to the flavor i mean mm. not accustomed to the flavor so what, what do you think is gonna i was gonna say i don't i don't see mans wearing angry bird shirts though in the future though that's like something that will always be <laughs> yo but nobody saw people wearing like paint on their clothes yeah that should look whacking to begin with that is true i have a question for you mm-hmm. if we took like a human that was from neanderthal era yeah and just put random shit in front of them what do you think they would be attracted to what do you think they would be attracted to? Like, what to? style do you think they would be attracted to? Or would, would they just not like anything at all? I don't think all? they would like anything. Because they're so used to, like, uh, grass skirts and shit. So they're like, okay, that guy wearing baggy-ass clothes and even that guy wearing skinny? What the hell is that? No, because this, this is where I'm getting to it. It's uh-huh. like, if you really, really deep it, mm. the first clothing yeah. was a style. That and that was true. a choice. That was a choice. Mm. And then it became to, like, you know how everyone was dressed up kind of nice? They had, like, button-ups and shit. Yeah, yeah. And then those golfer had, like, Peaky Blinders style. Okay, yeah. That was a choice. Word. You get me? And, and it was a collective choice to all dress like that. So you maybe. really take that in. A lie. Okay, going back to that, I have a crazy story. I don't know if we, ha- if we talked about this yet, mm-hmm. but there was recent news on like the most convincing evidence of time travel. What happened? So what happened? I, I don't know if we talked about this, but there was a guy named Sergi. Sergi. Yeah. So he showed up. Uh, this is the story. Randomly, he spawned in Kiev. I think it's this is in Ukraine. Yeah, yeah. And th- in 2006, mm-hmm. but he's actually from like the 1950s. Mm-hmm. So in 2006, when he said he spawned there, he was in all these like old clothes. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. 1950s clothes, not even 2006 clothes. Mm-hmm. And all he had was his um his old camera, right? Mm-hmm. So the police were like, okay. This is this is weird as fuck. You're telling me that you're a time traveler. I need to see pieces of ID. Yeah. He doesn't have ID. All he has, he says, go look at my photos and my camera. They're undeveloped, right? Mm. So police, they develop his camera. All he's all they see is like some gr- random girl and him back in Kiev in 1950. It looks like the 1950s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're like, wait a minute, who is this girl? And yeah. then he, the uh, Sergi, he's like. Yo, this is my girlfriend, but I haven't seen her in so long. Right? Wait, wait, wait. So the guy's girlfriend? Or? Yeah, the guy's girlfriend. So the guy uh, telep- uh, well, well, not teleported. He time traveled yeah. and left the girl like back in the 1950s, supposedly, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. right? So police, they were like, okay, what's that girl's name? We're going to track her down. Oh, so they go and look for her. Yeah, they go and look for her. They type in her name. They find her. She's in her 70s. Oh, shit. Sergi is in his 20s. How did he not age? So they asked, they asked the girlfriend, who, yo, who is this to you? He's like, oh, this is my boyfriend. But that was back in the 1950s. Damn. And then this is what happened. He, she said, oh yeah, he actually disappeared. But two years later, he came back to me. Mm. He had pictures. There's literally pictures on the internet of him in front of skyscrapers. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what Sergi said? He said this was pictures of him in 2050. Oh, so he went in. So he went in the future and he came back to her to tell. Oh, shit. So they're like, they're like, okay, this is this is getting weird. We need to like lock him up, lock him up in a hotel and actually interview him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is what happens. They find out there was another guy named Sergi Mm -hmm. from Kiev, same description, same everything. Mm -hmm. He actually went missing way, way, way (gasps) back. So they're like, who is this? Yeah. So they're like, okay, they, they locked them in a high rise hotel room, surveillance, everything, right? Mm. As soon as they're about to go in the room, they open the door, Sergi's not there no more. Damn. Disappears, he, like no time. Okay, so what him. happened to like everything else he had? Everything, he was still there. Damn, so Like police like- have evidence, it's just the actual guy that says he was doing all this stuff, gone. Holy shit. Damn, that's like, that's fun. You think time travel is like a, a device you need to use? Or you think it's just like in, in your head? And in your head. Like no. You, know I mean? <laughs> you have one of these. You mean like you, that? You think it was all an act? Like he, he just put on these clothes and he's like actually just geeking. Okay, real talks. If time travel is real, right? Yeah. yeah. If time travel really is real, mm-hmm. what would they want to change? And did they change it? Oh, fuck. I don't know. Because... I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. How many times, I said this, I said this before, but how many times have, has the world 
almost ended. Mm. Bare times, bro. The world has almost ended bare times. Their wars have been stopped. So you think they, they there's that's their main mission to stop that shit? No, like what if what if the world already ended in a different timeline oh. and our timeline is the timeline that's been saved like countless times and they just keep like saving shit. Oh, okay. I thought you were going with like, you know how the world was supposed to end in like 2012 mm-hmm. with like a, like a meteor. Yeah. I thought you, you said that some guy with time travel stopped that meteor. I don't know how you can stop a meteor fam. Like, I don't think that's possible unless they like, drive sac- it out of the way. Sacrifice us all like this. No, bro. <laughs> and like when we're waiting in our bed for the world to end, it doesn't end because that guy sacrificed himself. <laughs> you know what your story reminded me of though? Yeah, yeah. There's this movie, it's called uh, Age of Adeline. You ever heard about this? Oh, they were comparing it to that. Yeah. yeah. So in Age of Adeline, pretty much there's this girl mm. and she she's a she's a young looking girl. I think she's like maybe in her 30s. Okay. Probably like early 30s. Yeah. And she lives in the year 20, let's say 2018. Okay, 2018. She's going out with this guy and they go out for a date, blah, 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 blah. Eventually they start dating a long time. And the guy wants to introduce her to his father. So okay. they go out. I think they go to like a cottage or something kind of far out into like the small towns. Mm-hmm. And the moment he introduces her to his father, yeah. his father looked at her and was like in shock. Oh, fuck. Because he remembers meeting a girl exactly like her. No. Looked exactly like her just by a different name. And he was in shock. Mm. Now check this out. This girl, Adeline, doesn't age. Do so mean? she's like a vampire. She doesn't age. So she stays. So uh, well, how old is she right now? I forgot exactly how old she was, but she's lived like countless lives. Yeah, I think she's probably lived like twelve lives, something like that, with mm-hmm. a different, with a different name, with a different like, um, like place where she's staying, everything, different identity. Okay. And one of the identities was her boyfriend's dad. Remembered. Damn. And it was crazy because her identity before to him, that was like the one that got away. This guy this guy was mad in love with her. Oh. And the son is now dating her, but it's the same girl. Fam. Oh. It's the but same he's girl. like stuck up on that girl. It's yeah. like, whoa. And then Adeline's daughter is actually older than her. Well, looks older than her. So so the guy now is dating a older woman, but stuck in a teen's body. Yeah, stuck in like a young body. Oh, that's kind of weird. Yeah. That's kind of fucking weird. Okay, but that's like the that's like the vampire shit, right? Yeah. That's not bad though. I don't I don't know. Cuz if you really bag it, it uh-huh. you man's would have canceled Twilight bare time ago cuz real talks the guy that's fucking playing um the the vampire uh-huh. Edward Cullen, Edward Cullen's like 200 years old plus, but he's dating a high schooler. Y'all didn't yeah. cancel that shit. A lie. That's some yeah. that's some EDP. Ew. That's some EDP, but nobody really really bagged that. Yeah, yeah. That she was probably true. what like fifteen yeah. in the movie. You yeah, get what I mean, I, I remember there was uh, there was another case. Uh, what you, I forgot the the name of her, but there was like a I, I don't know if she was like a dwarf or a midget. Yeah, but she was like she was way older than what she she was, mm-hmm. and she was like she was like oh can this family adopt me and shit, and like the whole time family thought she was actually like like oh she's tough, old yeah but like, no no like a little girl yeah she was actually mad mad old and then i don't know what happened but i think she tried to murder or something shit happened like that i, I don't know about that case but mm. damn but that's scary if, if a, per, a, a fully talking person comes up to you and says that's like hasbula you... though yeah it was kind of like a hasbula yeah but it was like, like she had like intentions to like murder the, this family damn yeah so imagine a girl coming like hey can you adopt me but fuck bro she's actually like mm. 40 years old i'm really i'm really curious like because it's so hard to say Mm-hmm. how you would think if you're in that person's shoes. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And for her to become a psychopath, maybe that's that's it's not too far from what you would have done if you were like stuck like that. Yeah. Cuz we a lot of times we see psychopaths and we like, "Whoa, they're so crazy. Like why the fuck would they do the, all these things?" But mm-hmm. a lot of them have a past and maybe if you were put in the same environment as her, could you have turned out the same or worse? You get me? Like, if you have the same environment, the same trauma, the same whatever, like, physical abilities, Mm. maybe you would have done the same thing. Yeah. Have you heard of the Alexi Treviso case? This happened recently. No, no, no. So this... People are saying she's a fucking psychopath. Mm. So um, this was... This happened so recently. I think it was January... January of this year. Yeah. January of this year, right? So 
she goes into the hospital, right? Because uh, she's saying, oh, yeah, I have hella back pain. So they're like, uh, miss, you actually don't have back pain. You're actually pregnant. Mm. So this fucking broke my heart, fam. So she goes and she's like, no way. Like, she's in shock. She's yeah. like, there's no way I'm having a baby. Like, I'm scared. Like, I can't have this, right? Yeah, yeah. So doctors say, no, you have a baby. You're going to have it in like a few few hours, right? Because it's, it's fully developed. Mm-hmm. She goes into the washroom. She's like, okay, I'm going to the washroom, going to pee. Fam, she stays in the washroom for like two hours. Mm-hmm. Two hours go by, she goes out the washroom. In the washroom, there's hella blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She goes back in her bed and like she's chilling there, thinks no one's going to notice, right? Mm-hmm. Of, of the blood in the, in the washroom. The, the maids of the hospital come in the washroom. They see the blood everywhere, right? She grabs the garbage yeah. and she picks it up and she notices it's mad heavy. Oh, right? shit. So, fam, she literally threw her baby, like, killed her baby Damn. and threw it in the garbage bag. And, like, there's a video when uh, the doctors come in and the mom is and her is sitting in the, in the bed. Yeah. And she breaks the news. She's like, he saw a baby in the trash. That's right? fun. And the mom was like, I, I, it pisses me off because she was like, uh, Alexi was like, uh, I don't know, that thing wasn't breathing. She kept referring wow. it to that thing, you know? And now she's like, and the mom pissed me off too because it was like she wasn't even like, di- I don't know. There's no, there's no care. There's, there's like, no care. Yeah, there's no you know? love for it. Yeah, which pissed me off. So now she's getting charged for first degree murder, and she's getting multiple charges for uh, I think abusing uh, a child too, which is good because that's probably she get like life in prison for that. No, yeah, you can, you can, you should because, because I don't because I don't think she was ready to have that baby or she didn't want to face the responsibility. Yeah. So it's like, man's out there, just be just be cautious of what you do, right? Wear a condom, nah. Yeah, condom. real shit, wear a condom, shit. man. Nah, bro. <laughs> yo, when, yo we, were, we were in the hospital and then the nurse asked Carlos, he's like, yo, are you allergic to anything? And then Carlos is like, latex. <laughs> it's true though, imagine you're allergic to latex. I was like, fam, latex? That's such a I don't random. Know you, no, but I'm allergic to latex. Like I actually am. A word? Yes. I didn't make like, that up. Wait, what happens? Like, do you get rashes or itchy? So, because I have braces. And how did you find that out? Because I have braces. So I have braces, right? And then I have to put bands in my mouth. Oh, okay. So I put like these rubber bands to like keep them like tight. You know what I mean? Now I had these first ones. Yeah. yeah. Had like a gorilla on them, and you, it's like the gorilla grip ones. Pause. <laughs> nah, but like I put those in my mouth. Pause. <laughs> And then, and then for for some reason I woke up and like yo my my shit's kind of itchy. Pause, man. <laughs> this whole, this whole, yo, no, I know it's itchy. Yeah. So so I'm like I look in the mirror and then I see a rash in the back of my mouth, mm. and it's it's like uh, bumpy and stuff. So I'm like, okay, this is not right. Okay. So I. I put away the thing, the rubber bands. I'm like, okay, it's got to be those. So I, yeah. I give it a day. I'm like, okay, nothing. It was the bands. So I go to the dentist. I'm like, yo, I still need bands. Like, okay, we'll give you these latex-free ones. Okay. So ever since, I use latex-free condos. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was going to say, I was like, you're putting on a condom. You're like, oh, fuck, my dick itchy. Bro. <laughs> Not ever That's since I use latex-free. Word. There's latex-free ones, bro. Yeah, yeah. There, <laughs> there's some made out of uh, sheepskin. Oh, really? Yeah, bro. Damn. So it's like... So that might feel like amazing. I don't know if it feels amazing. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't use it personally. Okay. Like, I used some next one. Yeah, yeah. But um, it's it's dead ass, like, animal skin on your piece. Whoa. But I don't know how that would feel, actually. That might feel weird. So is that bestiality? Yeah. <laughs> play it, play it, play it. Yo, yo, yo. Why is he looking at the camera like... <laughs> No, but thinking there was also a haunted house where <laughs> some lady was go- about to go in. It was like the one I was talking about where they actually like waterboard you and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you know, I never knew it was like that. I yeah. never knew waterboarding was was bad. What? <laughs> no, like the, the word waterboarding, it sounds fun. Oh, like this. You thought it was like surfing. It sounds fun, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, but like the, the same haunted house where uh, they waterboard you. Yeah. They, there's like a full list of allergies or like things that they're about to do to you. Mm-hmm. On the, t- on the top before you enter, right? And some lady was like uh, interviewing a-, a person. She's like, oh, are you allergic to anything like that? And then she's looking, she's like, latex? I think it'll fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah, fam, you gotta use the latex for yeah. me, bro. Yo, you know, you know what a bag suit when you were in the hospital, fam? Whoa, whoa, whoa. The, the nurse took off their gloves. 
What gloves? They took off their gloves because I said latex. Oh, but it wasn't even that serious. It wasn't it even wasn't, that serious. Yeah, yeah. But they just didn't wear gloves. I no didn't more. notice that. You didn't yeah. notice that? Yeah. Yo, Loki, I was about to scrap the assistant. Why? I thought, yo, when because what the person who was helping Carlos, he had hella tats, right? Yeah. And it looked crazy. Like it was like red and shit. And, and I then lo- you see the one, the so one. I, I looked on one, and on his forearm, he had like um, he had like a triangle one, right? <laughs> so first glance, I was like, why is the the one with the Illuminati tat <sighs> sticking shit into <laughs> Carlos's body? Pop. But it was like pipes for his <laughs> yo theory right now. Yeah, theory right now they took my blood. That's what Illuminati. Oh my yo. gosh, bro. No, but but yo. at the end of the day, I was like, yo, Carl, I was like, yo, Carlos, you notice his tattoo? No, what it was? It was Yu Gi Oh. <laughs> no, but when I looked, Gavin was, was shook though. Gavin was, I was shook. shook. No, I was actually ready to scrap. I was like, yo, can we get another one? I was gonna be like, yo, can we get another assistant, please? Because this one's for real. You gonna ask? Yeah, <laughs> obviously. Because why? Why you? If he had devil tattoos. You're not gonna. I'm not Yo. gonna let him go on that. You take, take my blood. Yeah, that's <laughs> fucked. That's fucked. That's the last Yo. person I want operating on you. That's fucked. That's true, fam. That's real though. I, I would if I, that guy was doing it on me. Yeah, would, yeah, yeah. No, but I knew it was Yu Gi Oh. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> okay. didn't know that. Because you were too calm, fam. You were too calm. <laughs> real talks. Ever since I've been wearing this bracelet. Yeah. I've been wearing this bracelet, and I'm not gonna say why I was in the hospital. Oh yeah. We'll just keep it up to the audience. Make right, a theory yeah. in their own. Facts, facts. But um, yeah, I've been wearing this bracelet recently. That's tough still. It kind of looks like Chrome Hearts, no? No, it does. But um, pretty much there's this uh, is it iced out too? Iced out church? No, nah, there's this there's this thing on it. Yeah, yeah. It's like a crest. Okay. And it's a crest of a saint. Mm. Now they say this this crest is supposed to it pretty much scares away demons. Oh yeah. Like demons can't see it. Like oh, they can't. Yeah. It's like it's like vampires and garlic. Mm. You know what I mean. Okay. So. No demons want to be around me. So have you have you seen recently? Yo, but, but uh, side note: whenever Carlos tells me something, he says it in the most calm shit. So he, uh, before the podcast, we were talking about. He's like, "Yo, you know I see demons, right?" <laughs> I was like, "Time no, out, no, fam." Okay, There's listen, no listen. Warning. Listen though, but for someone to see demons, it just acknowledges what is. Yeah, yeah. Because real talks, like they're always around you, but you just don't you just don't recognize. Yeah. Yeah, me. Okay. So how much temptation are, is there in your life? Mm. That is a, that's a demon. Fam. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't have to come to you in a sense of like a monster. H- has there been a, a scenario recently where you were like, oh, uh, I see it, like you see like that temptation or that demon, <clears throat> but you're like, okay, I- I'm a fly. No, real talk. Just think about it every single day. It could come in like so many different forms, fam. Mm. It could just come in um, a form of hate. Yeah. It can come in a form of jealousy. It can come in a form of lust yeah. you know what i mean like when when you have a huge temptation to do something and an urge that makes you not feel like your true character mm-hmm. maybe it's not you mm. that's all i have to say still our lives are always so busy already and personally if i could automate every single thing in my life i would live so much easier i mean we live in an increasingly automated world but some things require tedious manual work luckily for e-commerce business owners shipping is no longer manual task thanks to ShipStation. save time automating your shipping and returns in the ShipStation dashboard while keeping costs down with industry leading discounts i personally use ShipStation to manage my orders on my e-commerce site it's super easy just use the free trial to quick setup and you can start getting those good ship station discounts compared to what you're paying right now ship station makes it easy to automate shipping tasks for orders from every marketplace in one dashboard effortless integration everywhere you sell online including amazon etsy ebay shopify and more you can manage every order from one simple dashboard print shipping labels easily compare rates and delivery times to optimize every shipment and automate delivery notifications and with enterprise solutions that make warehouse optimization easy shipstation scales when you do with industry leading discounts you'll never worry about overpaying for shipping get up to 84 percent off usps and ups rates and if that's not enough use our promo code and try shipstation for free for two months over 130,000 companies have grown their e-commerce business with shipstation and 98 percent of companies that stick with shipstation for a year become customers for life so 
spend more time growing your business when you automate shipping tasks with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com and use code JUMPERS today and sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com, code JUMPERS, J-U-M-P-E-R-S. If your business earns millions or tens of millions of revenue, stop what you're doing and listen. Because NetSuite by Oracle has just rolled out the best offer we've ever seen. NetSuite gives you the visibility and control you need to make decisions faster. And for the first time in NetSuite's 22 years as the number one cloud financial system, you can defer payments of a full NetSuite implementation for six months. That's no payment and no interest for six months. And you can take advantage of this special financing offer today. NetSuite is number one because they really give your business everything you need in real time, all in one place to reduce manual processes, boost efficiency, build forecasts, and increase productivity across every department. It's great to have the power and all of the information in one place. Trust me, it helps you make better decisions. And the unprecedented offer NetSuite provides makes that possible. 33,000 companies have already upgraded to NetSuite, gaining visibility and control over their financials, inventory, HR, e-commerce, and more. If you've been sizing NetSuite up to make the switch, then you know this deal is unprecedented, no interest, no payments. Take advantage of this special financing offer at netsuite.com slash jumpers. That's netsuite.com slash J-U-M-P-E-R-S to get the visibility and control you need to weather any storm. netsuite.com slash jumpers. Whether you're searching for the latest sneaker drop, that iconic handbag, a timeless watch, or your next piece of classic jewelry, eBay authenticators are there verifying every detail of your purchase. Yup, we're talking each inch, stitch, tick, facet, and clasp that make the piece you're searching for worthy of your collection. eBay's authenticators are experts in their craft, true connoisseurs, and as leaders in their field, they're making sure your items always arrive as authentic as your style. So go ahead, get that piece you've always wanted, and leave it up to the meticulous eyes of an eBay authenticator to make sure the watch movement is original, that glimmer is real gold, that rare sneaker is legit, or that handbag is really made of genuine leather. And never get faked over again. In a world full of fakes, it's time to get Get real with eBay authenticity guarantee. Everyone deserves real. Visit eBay.com for terms. Yeah. Now, what's crazy? Actually, um, did you know Spider Man, the Sam Raimi universe of Spider Man? Okay. Every single villain is actually facing a demon slash a possession. Really? Yeah. Okay, let's start. And and nobody bagged that. Really? Check this out. So Venom in Spider Man Three. Yeah. This one's obvious, but. Remember when he was like covered in the in the symbiote and the he was black, like ripping black. it? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And he was in the church, remember? Mm-hmm. The only time he got it off, what was happening? There was a there was a priest in the bottom oh. saying, release him, oh, release him. Yeah. And then he pulled the thing yeah. off. Oh. And then the symbiote, the venom actually came out of him. So it was almost like a demon attaching to his soul, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check this out. Green Goblin. Do you remember? Green Goblin. Fam, Green Goblin is dead ass just possessed. <laughs> If you back it, Low listen. Key, yeah. Cause remember in the movie, like every time he he looks at a mirror, he hears another voice like oh, tempting him to yeah, do shit. Yeah. And then the actual like Norman Osborn's like, no, I don't want to. I don't want to. Mm. Yes, you do. You know what I mean? Yeah. So Green Goblin was actually just possessed by. Demon I thought he fan. was just. I thought he was just a psychopath. Like you know those uh, bipolar. Yeah, disease? that too. But yeah. but it's it's very obvious because the first time you hear the voice in in that movie, what do they show? They show. Uh, uh, like almost like a samurai mask. Mm, it was yeah. like you know the devilish one, oh, okay, the devil yeah. looking one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And his his mask is what like a, it literally looks like a demon. Yeah, bro. Check this out. What's his name? Uh, Doctor Octopus, Spider Man Two. <laughs> Same shit. What was he possessed by? So remember, remember he was um he had the arms right. Yeah. And plugged into it to his neck and into his nervous system. Okay. So he was a very intelligent professor, scientist, everything. Mm-hmm. It was only until the tech malfunctioned and he became a different person because he became possessed oh. by the tech. And it was like the AI controlling Control- his brain yeah, yeah, yeah. in the same sense that's still possession, fam. Wow. Every single Spider-Man villain was possessed. Damn, bro. That's Isn't symbolism. that crazy? No, but is, it, is, that, uh, is that symbolism for like to, like if kids are really watching oh, that? watching it to, to bag so, it like that? And like they're trying to give it in a way it's like it's not obvious. Yo, also, um, my bad, but yeah, yeah. but Green Goblin 
I don't know if you remember this, but there's a scene. There's uh-huh. actually a scene where when he goes to kill Aunt May, when Green Goblin goes to kill Aunt May, she's praying. Oh fuck! She's praying, and then she's like saying the Our Father, and he busts through the 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 wall, what? and then he goes. Finish the prayer. Finish. And then she's like crying. He's like, ah! what the fuck? And he's like, finish it. And she goes, deliver us from. And then the guy goes, and then Green Goblin goes, evil. <laughs> Why do you I don't remember that? I don't remember yeah, this. Fam. Whoa. Okay, then that, that theory is 100% yeah, it's all true real. It's, it, low key, all of the Spider Man villains had to do with like demons, demons and yeah, possessions. Yeah. yeah. Spider Man's actually. But we, don't, we didn't bag it like that. Damn. And if you want to take it a step further, you can even say like, in Spider-Man 2 with Andrew Garfield. Sorry, Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man with Andrew Garfield. Yeah, yeah. It's the same thing. Because um, cause what's his name? The lizard became somebody else. Oh, true. And the serpent, blah, blah, blah. You can talk about all that shit, but you know Damn. what I mean? They were trying to hide something, bro. Yeah. Fuck, man. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Also, I've seen that in celebrities. I don't know if you've seen the new Lady Gaga one mm-hmm. where her makeup is her with like pointy things coming out her shoulders, mm. pointy thing coming out her cheeks, and pointing thing coming out her like skull. Lady so, Gaga's always been like yeah, that. Yeah, I know. It's always been like that. But I also recently found out, so you know the uh, Kim Kardashian curse? Or nah. the Kardashian curse? Yeah, yeah the, the one that's like, if, if you date. Yeah. yeah, so there's actually lore. Yeah. So people found out that back in the 1800s, mm-hmm. they had an ancestor, right? Mm. Called uh, Kikil. Right? Yeah, yeah. So Kakil back then, she was like abused by her parents. She was 19 year olds w- with a kid. Mm. Her parents didn't like her. She had all types of trauma, right? So Kakil, she fled. She ran away from her home and she I think she ended up in a province in Armenia. I forgot what it's called. Yeah. Right? But in Armenia, that that province is known for witches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So so she connected to the witches. She's like Okay, I don't want my grandchildren in the future to have the same uh, upbringing as me. Mm-hmm. So I, I want you to grant them f- uh, uh, beauty, fortune, and fame, mm-hmm. right? So they did that. The witches did that. The witches said that they can grant them, but the only downfall is that they will never ever find true love mm. or they will always have uh, troubles finding a significant other. And so look what happened. It's like a curse that comes with that it. That comes yeah. with it, yeah. So it makes sense because I, I believe it because, fam, the Karda- Kardashians, look what happened to Kanye, fell out of love. Mm-hmm. Uh, Pete fell out of love. But they do have all these fame and fortune. Yeah, fam. Because that reminds me of like the Rick and Morty episode where yeah. the de- there's like a devil running the shop. Yeah. And then he, uh, he pretty much sells things yeah. that if you put these on, you'll be the best basketball player, but you'll break your ankles after. Yeah. It's like there's a curse that comes with it. So you have great power, but it comes with like something that, that holds you back. I know. But that sucks, though, if, like, that you didn't know that. So, like, imagine you're blessed now. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, your ancestors did something like that back in the thing, and you didn't even know. But you're you're blessed, but you also have something that will fuck up or, like, will, uh, will... Like, your love life or some shit like that. That's 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 like That's like the movie Holes. Remember Holes? Oh, yeah, with, uh... I, f- I forgot. You don't remember Holes with no, no, Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf and Zero. And Zero, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but he was pretty much cursed. And to break the curse, he had to do something and find this person. Oh, yeah. But it just so happens, like, they ended up at the same spot. And there was, like, an ancestor of ancestor. Yeah, Mademoiselle or whatever yeah. it's called. Yeah. But that you never... Works. That's that's what I'm so curious with is, uh-huh. is there people in my life that I know now mm. that maybe my ancestors would have known? You know what I mean? Oh. So what do you think maybe like way, 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 way back in the Philippines, my ancestor had a conversation with your ancestor. Oh, fuck. And they were like, yo, this should be a podcast. No, I was just <laughs> going to say like, like there's no podcast was, back then. But like, like, what if there was a Jumpers Jump podcast, bro? But like not, not it wouldn't film, be. Yeah, it wouldn't be like film, a, but like maybe like a conversation in the table, you know? I just feel like Filipinos in a, in a whole, they just love talking, fam. If I'm being real, like Tito's just love talking. A lot. That's yeah. their that's their whole aesthetic. It's yeah, like yeah. drinking and talking and smoking. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. You know those ones where it's like, oh, uh, you're yeah, at your cousin's party, and then you're about to go home, and then your mom says, okay, pack your shit up, we're going home, right? Yeah. At the door, they have like an hour conversation. They're not done yet, fam. They're not done, bro. And then you 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 like sneak you, out. Yeah. You, like, you, you go lose, back to play. You lose that time with your cousins. Oh, I always sneak out. See? I don't know. I don't know about you. I was the bad, bad kid, so I was a bad kid, fam. <laughs> like, like I wait for my mom to get excited and I slip out, bro. Do you think? Do you think a kid 
is bored bad or or like has to be like brought up bad you know has to change their way to be bad yeah because i feel like carlos fam, i don't you think can anybody, see the baby picture sam you look like a bad kid like i'm not a bad kid though fam. Like kid. i'm not a bad kid like i'm, I'm a great like kid the, like the eyebrows tell it all fam you're a bad kid nah, real toss i'm a great kid like i, I do great i do good but yeah. i'm not gonna lie to you growing up right away i just had some sense of i was looking a bully when i was when i was young yeah like but, i was actually like no like, like for real bully nah i'm not talking naturally that's like, what i'm saying that's what i'm saying yeah <laughs> like you just went up to some guys like yo you're yeah i don't know why no like for real I'm, I, I was I, I was actually a dickhead like i shouldn't Whoa. have been doing that like if i saw my little self i would smack him damn yeah like he was actually an asshole yeah yeah but i think i think it's like you're 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 given that Mm. to become something you know yeah because look look look. It, i think life is, is like that where they'll give you something where this is what you're given mm -hmm. now learn from that okay yummy you know I mean? it's so, like so, yeah go ahead it's like you're stuck with something but you have to learn how to deal with it and then see what you can come out with it because the easiest mm. thing to do would still be an asshole to this day yeah yeah, yeah. which i'm not you know what I mean? yeah, like, of course, yeah for sure yeah. <laughs> but so do you think it's it's good that it happened to you early and like yeah. <laughs> yeah no and you figured it out so now you you can you have all this time to like learn right yeah so do you think here's the thing too yeah when i was a kid fam my my confidence my ego was to the max Word. i thought I, I ruled the world i yeah. thought i ruled the world i mean world. it's still it's still like there though you still have a thing no but like as a kid now i'm wondering now yeah. i'm wondering because it's almost as if the world society they already tell us not to. Mm -hmm. So I think when I was in elementary school, like coming to high school, that's when I really simmered down. Mm -hmm. That's when like I felt the most, I want to say that's when I felt the most anxious, the most like introverted, mm. the most not myself, not my full character. Okay, okay. And then I was even like teaching myself things that I wouldn't even have followed as a kid or even yeah, as yeah. me now. And like, why did he even do those things? Mm -hmm. And I think what it is is because that ass society tells us to be timid, to be not that confident, to yeah. be like somebody that listens. Mm. Cause even school in general is, is for you to listen to your boss. Yeah. The whole curriculum is for you to listen to your boss and be a good listener. Mm -hmm. It's not to make you a boss. Yeah. Cause elementary school, you're not really taking a lot in. You're just in your own world. Right. Mm. So all the outside voices, you don't hear them. Yeah. Right? But I think it's like, as a kid, and having that confidence is like a lot of people don't have that because as a kid too you're like um a lot of shit comes from your parents so they're the one raising you mm -hmm. so they're giving you all the rules and shit like that but if you feel like you're on top of the world and you're their own boss that's crazy for a kid no but i'm, I'm talking like jksk J oh, okay i'm talking like jksk i'm talking like yeah. like young young and then i want to say the first time i really got pressed yeah was four grade four pressed by how pressed like how? by a teacher Oh, really? I got pressed by a teacher. I well, still remember this day. No, she was like screaming at my face. Really? Like face to face, like screaming at my face. Fuck. And then that that's that's when I started to like simmer down. Damn. Because I was being told to like don't speak too loud. Yeah. Blah 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 blah. Did you have like a panic attack? Like when No, I was happened? just fucking frightened. Or you're just like, oh, what the fuck is going on? Like I can still see her in my nightmares, bro. She's like really? she was just frightening, yeah. Damn. Like straight up frightening. But I think I think everybody has somebody like that in their life that that changed them whether we acknowledge it or not but it's like um holding you back you know you know naruto like kurama is the demon inside of him right oh yeah not to say like you have mans have demons inside of them but it's like uh that that true self is is locked away because everybody else tells you to put it away mm -hmm. like no we don't don't play with the dog don't play with the dog leave the dog in the cage leave the yeah. dog in the cage right but what if you are the dog you get me what if you're the dog yeah, damn, that's <laughs> that, that shit sounds corny but like it dead ass like some people are like that right yeah fuck that's looking a bar because everybody has that inside of them i think and everybody has like a true self but they're afraid to be their true self because they're told like oh you should do it like this you should be like that yeah and no, then that's how you grow up that's how you turn out fam yeah i know but i feel like ah oh, fuck it's it's the the reason of social media and how everyone plays a character because i get this so much is like the aesthetic on my instagram mm -hmm. doesn't match the way i talk like everyone says that mm -hmm. but people don't know that the 
the podcast is only surface level, like of what you see. It's hard because I'm a fashion guy and I thought this was going to be a streetwear podcast. Yeah. But you can't see my bottom half. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, yeah. how am I supposed to dress? I'm, I can only show you so much, fam. Yo, my fit is whack right now. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I'm, I'm wearing enough. shorts under this, fam. <laughs> but like, I can only show you so much. But what, what comes is like my true personality here. Like mm. I can just be myself, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I have a question for you though. Okay. If if there was no likes, if there was no like sharing, blah 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 blah, Damn. and you didn't even see your audience, what would you be posting? Fucking oh, I would probably post it like like the shit I post on my story, like the shit that I don't care about. Like me going on uh ice cream run with my girl or something. Yeah, why like don't that. you do that then? I don't know. I don't know. It's just like that's what I'm saying. We have to we have to stop that shit. Cause look, it's one thing to say it and then like, oh, that's not cool. Like maybe the world should be more real. So fucking make it real, right? Oh, I mean, yeah, like yeah. actually make shit real. Yeah. So personally, I I try to find myself like posting things that aren't edited. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That aren't like um, it's raw. Mm -hmm. And I kind of like that. And I and that's why I really like creators like Emma Chamberlain, I yeah. guess, because it's kind of raw. Like it, it's very like um, it's it's not trying to be somebody. She's being hurt. Know. But I, do you think it's it's a whole game that she's being yeah, somebody? Yeah, no, I think it is a game. I don't bro. think so because if if you watch like her content from a long time ago, uh -huh. you can see the evolution. Okay. Because it's all on camera, right? But maybe the evolution is just her marketing, marketing herself better because she knows what works now. So it's like, I personally disagree, but it could yeah. be. It could be. I don't That's know. It's a theory. It's a theory. I, I've never met Emma Chamberlain in person, yeah. but I, I'm pretty sure she's a, like a pretty cool girl. So, yeah. you know? That's a good theory. Yeah. Because like if I go on Instagram right now yeah. and I just like look at, let's go. Okay. I'm, I'm just going to scroll random and boom. For example, this guy. Like, I'm not. We're not gonna show okay, it, yeah. but like, boom, randomly, <laughs> his profile. Right. Everything is picture perfect. Right. Mm -hmm, yeah. What happened to the Instagram where nothing's picture perfect? Everyone, I don't know. Where everyone is just like posting to post yeah. rather than posting to like get a reaction, picks, getting yeah, to react. You know. But that's what it is now. Mm -hmm. And we're kind of like, the more we do that shit, we train ourselves to want something out of posting, mm -hmm. which isn't what we should. We should just post because we like. Yeah. Because that's what our heart told us to post. Check this out. Did you know um, when you scroll on TikTok, this is fucked. When you scroll on TikTok, every single time your eyes go like this, it actually increases your dopamine. Oh, for real? Yeah. So they, per they perfectly made TikTok Yo. so that it stimulates our eyes to increase dopamine. You can imagine we're scrolling like this. Yeah. Fam. All, always. Up and down. Up and down. Wow. Every single time our eyes go up and down. If you do this up and down for like five minutes, you'll feel happy. Go do it. Up and down, up and down. Yeah, keep doing it. You get excited? <laughs> Tell me you get excited, fam. I swear to God, it's crazy. <laughs> That's fuck. Crazy shit, right? Yeah. Now, they they scientifically knew that, fam. They like they knew. Mm -hmm. There's no reason TikTok couldn't be like horizontal yeah you know when they switched when they switched instagram to this yeah i don't know it was like some random day where where they finally it was like to the right to the right yeah it because they, they were trying to do like tinder mm -hmm. you know what i mean it didn't work it didn't hit it didn't hit but the moment they did up and down it started Damn. hitting Damn. nah yeah every dating app yeah it's like this no 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 oh, dating no. app dating it, app is side to like side this, like this. now but check this out check this out thing. this is fuck too look what? when you when you put your eyes side to side what yeah. happens I don't know what happens. It stimulates your pleasure and relaxation. Yo. So if you do this, so people say, like if you're having an anxiety attack, yeah. you should do this, like side to side, look side to side. Okay, okay. Because it, it stimulates your relaxation and puts you in a, a state of like calm. Yeah, calm, yeah. Calm, you know what I mean? Now check this out. You know those cats? Mm -hmm. You know the, the cat clocks that go oh, eye to eye, eye to eye? Yeah. That's made to like make you calm. I mean, it, it's made to like give that setting, give that vibe of the room. What the fuck? It's side to side, side to side. No, nah, that's so smart though. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that shit. And then you can imagine like why did they why did they make those those uh towers that go woo wee woo? Because they're going up and down, fam. Oh, to Stimulating get you, like, the up and down. Yo. The drop towers and shit, you know what I mean? Nah, who told you that? Or right. you, you researched, just researched it? I researched it, it myself. Fuck, man! I and didn't know that. Like, think, think about everything, bro. We can even go to, you know, you, you hit the hammer and then like, yeah. ding, ding, yeah. Like you look up, oh shit, and it goes down. But every arcade game kind of has that motion, though. So yeah, Pac-Man. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? And this, this stuff like this. Oh, it's not, it's not swinging, but this go. Oh, not, not really up and down, but no, no, that's different. Yeah, that's okay, different I was gonna say, <laughs> I was gonna say, like everything, <laughs> everything is supposed to be pleasure. Yeah, but even TV too. Mm-hmm. Like, if 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 you're just awakened to these type of things, and I hate saying that shit, like being woke, but yeah. the once you know and then start seeing, mm. you'll start to recognize. Yeah. When 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 did you start like? questioning everything that uh that was happening that's a good question you. i actually don't know yeah. let me think about that was that it during a kid too or was it like uh recently because i know it wasn't recently but damn it's had to happen when you're a kid too that's a great question bro i think i always just so first thing i always told stories if mm. if you talk to my old elementary school friends yeah i'm talking like grade one and two mm-hmm. i would always tell stories on the bus damn yeah Let's see. Hold on. Let, let me think if I can tell you a story right now that I uh-huh. used to tell on the bus. Ah, uh, you know they're kind of racist. I can't. I can't say. Why them. Why? They're oh, like jokes. Yo, I was just gonna say. Yo, back then. <laughs> yeah. Mans were really racist though. Uh, no, I'm for not real. Lie, like, like. But that was the comedy. Yeah, that was a thing though. Like, yeah. mans would come up to me and like do the eye shit, like the the Chinese shit. Yeah. I was like, bro, I'm not even Chinese, fam. I'm Filipino. <laughs> but at the same time, I was categorized as Asian, mm. so they would do that shit. But that was the comedy. I don't blame nobody yeah. for that shit. Because yeah. if you back, like, what was out in the theaters at the time? Exactly. Rush hour. You know. Fam, you 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 go to a comedy store now. And they bust out maybe like one, a one two like racist joke. Yeah, and maybe w- not all of them, but one person in the thing was like, "Whoa!" It depends on the crowd. Yeah, yeah, it depends on the crowd. Yeah, because like usually when you go to a comedy like um event, yeah, you're there. To people laugh. people are there to laugh, yeah, so exactly. it's not taken seriously. Exactly. But if I'm be real, when I was a kid, I was telling some racist jokes. Like. <laughs> But it was jokes, fam. It wasn't yeah, even like. It was. It was. You know what I mean, it, it was about like Filipinos too, Asians yeah. and shit. You know. Yeah. I, I was always the one when I was growing up. I was always the one getting frightened by stories. I was never mm. the one to be telling the stories. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I don't know why, but throughout my life, it's like I've always had like delays of me growing up because, fam. You know how? When did you stop using diapers? Mm. When I stopped using diapers. You you were probably in JK without that. Everyone I don't, was in I don't JK remember. without diapers. Probably like, yeah. yeah. So everyone is in JK with di- without diapers, fam. I, I think I was still in JK with diapers. Word. Yeah. So I was. I always had a, like a delayed like growth. You feel me? Yeah. I had to ease into it. You feel me? Mm. And it was a, that. That's been the pattern. Word. Interesting. Yeah. So that's why when man say like, oh, oh, I, like whenever they talk to me, they're like, oh, I thought you were way younger. I was like, oh, that's a compliment because mm-hmm. like, obviously I want to stay young. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. they thought I was like. 17 18 i was like nah mm-hmm. fam, i'm 20. you got like i got like late diaper energy <laughs> yeah, no, real sh- no real shit though and like but whenever it comes to kids yeah like, whenever i'm babysitting and shit they always gravitate towards me that's one thing i noticed kids like, like you because you're like, you're like more, guess, more like a kid yeah i guess i gravitate that energy yeah. towards them you know this i think i think i have a beef with with babies bro like babies really? don't like the me opposite? yeah I think babies don't like yeah, me. Yeah, you you look you look hella me and I <laughs> No, babies don't like me and I, and I don't know what to do with babies. Dead ass, that's the one thing I can't deal with is like yeah. if somebody gives me a baby, I'm, I'm I'm in shock. Like I don't even know what to do. Really? Yeah, I don't know. Why? Why do you feel I don't like know, that? that's like my fear. I don't know. <laughs> this guy has arachnophobia except for babies. No, I'm scared of three things, fam. What? The police. <laughs> God. <laughs> that's a good And thing. babies, fam. <laughs> That's a good three. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> that ass. Yeah. Police, God, and 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 babies, man. Like, and I've seen all. No, I haven't seen the baby. No, nah, you'll see it because I'm mad awkward. Okay, okay. Especially if someone hands me a baby. Yeah. Like if a baby's in the room, and you know how people like do the baby talk and shit. Yeah. I don't have that funny bone in me, fam. I can't do like. <laughs> yeah, I can't do that I can't shit, bro. See you doing that, fam. I can't do that. Yeah, yeah. It's not in me. Word. No, there. Yo, there was this uh, fucking crazy ass story where some lady murdered her husband and then wrote a, a ch- children's book about it. Damn. You know about this? What you know book about is this? Did we read it? No, no, we didn't read it. It's fucking. It's lo- it's Loki. Really recent. The, the name of it is "Are You With Me?" And this was a book to help kids like cope with the death of a loved one, right? So. This lady, uh, this happened recently, 2022. Mm-hmm. Her name was, uh, I think it was Corey, and she had a husband named Chris, right? Yeah. So the night that he died, Corey set him up. So she made him like a, a drink before they went to bed. It was like a vodka drink, but she laced that shit with fentanyl. Damn, right? what the fuck? Yeah. So on her, when she was talking with the, the police, she said 
that night she slept in her children's room yeah. in her uh, son's room because she was having like nightmares shit like that mm -hmm. and that her phone was in her uh was in the, her husband's room right and then at 3 p.m this is from her perspective she went back into her husband's room and that's when she found him laying on the on the fucking uh ground mm -hmm. right but police searched into this right she's they said that uh you were actually on your phone the whole time time because you were texting someone else mm. right and where was the phone in your husband's room so the all the stories that you're telling us fake yeah, yeah, them because yeah. you're in your husband's room right yeah. records also shown that she actually tried murdering her husband many times before that Damn. because they she the husband wanted a divorce right? oh so she was trying to like end it before end it before oh, yeah. fuck, so she can take the money exactly so the lily i think the day after she she laced that uh, her husband yeah she, she was also into real estate and she just closed a big deal, right? Mm -hmm. She didn't even throw a funeral. She threw a party. She threw a party for her big deal clothes and like all the money that she got in. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Yeah. After her husband died. After her husband. The day after she threw a party for her for her success. Damn. That's the week up. after she wrote a book. That the book that I was telling you, yeah. how to cope with uh, a loved one dying, fam. She sold it and it actually did really well. It's like a New York Times yeah, it's bestseller. Like a, yeah, like a that's fucking a who, uh, Robert Munch type shit. <laughs> that's and it was about her father. Oh my god, it was about her Bro. husband dying. Psychopath, man. Shit, dog. Yeah. Sometimes psychopaths make the best art, though. Yeah, that's <laughs> so fucked to say. I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. That's so fucked to say. <laughs> no, I'm playing. Yeah. But who knows, like, who wrote all these other children's books? I was yeah. thinking of writing a children's book, too. Oh, yeah? But something like, <laughs> something <laughs> like super simple. Yeah. Like, no. <laughs> no, dead ass Gavin. Uh, like, sometimes I, this, this is low-key my riz. Oh, yeah. I would, okay, like, on FaceTime calls. Yeah. You can ask Steph this, too. Okay. I would be like, let, let's, uh, let's say, uh, a good night story, like a bedtime story. And it would come up with one on the spot. Oh, really? And you're like fucking telling And, and it's like an actual good story. Like it's actually like, is that had what meaning the at the end? Fuck? No, fam, like I'd be like off the rip right now. Okay, let's see. Once upon a time, there was a frog. And every single day, the frog went to go, go look for his friend. Uh -huh. And him and his friend would hop around and leap on, and leap on the, what do you call these shits? <laughs> lily pads. The lily pads. Uh -huh. So once upon a time, the frog and his friend were doing the lily pad jump. Uh -huh. I was like, wow, you can jump pretty far. And the other frog said, yeah, bro, you can do it too. So they kept jumping and kept jumping. And one time, the frog, he sprained his ankle. There's no way this works, bro. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. And the other frog said, hey, it's okay. You, you, don't, you don't have to keep jumping. We can do something else. Uh -huh. So they started to swim and they swam towards the shore. Now, at the shore, there was a snake. Okay, what happened to the snake? The snake he was slithering towards them, uh, looking for lunch. The snake saw the two frogs. Now, frightened, the, the one frog with the broken ankle knew it was his time to die. What the fuck? Because he had a broken ankle. He can't get away. Yeah. But the other frog said, I got this. <laughs> Jumped in front. Since the other frog could jump farther, he decided to make the run for it. Damn. And distracted the snake. He left his homie? He left his homie, but distracted the snake so that the snake oh, would follow him and okay, he could okay. jump farther. Now, it was getting close. The snake was coming very close to eating this frog. But what happened? He said, Never mind, he's too fast and went to go eat the other one. Oh my. The end. <laughs> there's, no, there's no way that we're so. So say, you're, no, you're setting man's up for failure because they're about, yo, all of our fans are about to be like on the first date. They're literally about to do that same shit. So imagine they're at a restaurant. Yo, okay, that's, to... that's literally off the dome, but I said some better ones back in my day. I said some better ones back in the day, but I usually make it more cute because yeah, it's yeah. you. I'm not going to make that shit cute. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. You get me? I'm, I'm saying it's you. I'm not going to spit like. The yeah, sassy, yeah, like, loved ones, okay, fam. Okay, I got you, got you. Trust me. <laughs> no, because trust me, I'm not going to say, like, the sappy loved ones to you because yeah, you're going to yeah. think I'm gay. Okay, okay. <laughs> makes sense, makes sense. You're like, yo, you're sus, bro. It makes sense. So, okay, maybe the cute ones. I don't know. I don't know how that works, though. It does work. So, like, you tuck her in and she's like, okay, I'm ready. And then you fucking start telling the story. No, and then, like, you get her to add on to the story, too. Oh, but maybe okay. that's my own thing. Like, maybe, like, it doesn't work for everyone else. Yeah, definitely your own thing, bro.
Because I was like, yo, but actually, that could be kind of cute if your girlfriend would be like, all right, you know why this works? Like, There's some dark game on this. Okay. I'm going I'm to tell you why this works. Okay. Here's now, why. No, like, this is dead ass why. So, scientifically, this is kind of fucked. It's, uh-huh. it's dead ass dark game. So, scientifically, we have like an attachment to our parents, mm-hmm. and oh. we're always looking for our parents in a loved one. Mm-hmm. And as crazy as this sounds, it's true. Like, your significant other resembles either your mother or father. Mm. And if you're talking to somebody that, like, as a kid, they would read a storybook before bed, what's that going to bring them back to? Yeah. And most of the time, they haven't heard that, and that part of their brain has been stimulated yeah. for probably years, maybe centuries. Okay. Not centuries, I'm joking. Yeah. But like, you know. <laughs> so, so, like, yo, imagine someone actually does that, though, like, just in the middle of date. So there was a story. No, not like, on a date. Like, like when it's late. I know. When it's late. Fam. Trust me, it works, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, w- I wouldn't lead my dogs astray. Of course. Of course. That, 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 I should put that on a t-shirt. Yeah, like, I don't need- lead my dogs astray. <laughs> yeah, get it? You know what I mean? Astray? Oh, shit. Because dogs are strays too? Oh. Loki, we, we need a merch. Like, okay, if we had merch or, or three t-shirts, well, we definitely need a knocking on wood one. Yeah. What's another one we would do? Um... Somebody made a, I think LB, shout out LB. Who's LB? He's my, he's my friend. Oh, okay. He said, he said, he made one actually, if you really bag this. And it was like oh, a bag. And it was like, it was like a tote bag. It was a tote, it was a tote bag. He's like, if you really bag this. Oh, Cause I always say like that. If you really bag? bag it. Okay. Okay. I don't know why I say that all the time. Yeah. Now that I think about it, I don't think anybody else says that. It's not even Toronto slang, is it? Do you think, do you think the people, cause like when I'm watching someone like David Parody, mm-hmm. I start, I pick up on their lingo, like Sasa G or no, no, not Sasa G, but like I'm cheesed, I'm aged. Yeah. Like shit that I didn't used to say before. Right. Yeah. You think people that watch us like actually go out and say like, even though not, they're not from Toronto, like a lie. Cause a lot of people are saying like, why does Gavin say a lie? No, it's a lie. So it's a H L I E. It's one word mm. and it's Toronto slang for confirmation. If you guys didn't know. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Cause I don't know. Probably. <laughs> yeah. I, I would like watch, let's say fresh prints and then just pick up on lingo. Yeah. Or like pick up on, that's what I was saying before. I think I said this on a different episode, but every time we watch cartoons, mm-hmm. that's kind of programming us to speak. Yeah. Because that's what we hear the most of speaking. Mm, yeah. And then we become like, I don't know, even our vocal fluctuations matches mm. those cartoon characters because that's the normal. That's yeah. like the normal yeah. way to speak, I guess. Like, and I feel like, like, like our fans too haven't seen much of us like off the podcast because that, that one you did with, um, what's the, the, guy, the guy with the long hair, the white guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was such a gem because that, because it was so early too. And you were talking about like the shit, like with him, he like, he actually knew hella yeah. shit about World War II and stuff. Mm-hmm. And like the, the under the influence, man still haven't watched that. Mm-hmm. Or like a lot of our fans haven't watched that. That's a gem too. Like that was our first time, mm-hmm. both of us on a different podcast. Yeah, you know? that's true still. So man's never seen this, like aside from this and maybe your vlogs, but that's it. Yeah. A lot of people thought it was short. Yeah, I'm not actually short. I know bro. we're actually not short. We're fucking five eleven. No, but I think I think they think we're short because we're Asian. Yeah, I know. See, that's internal racism, bro. Oh, this is what I want to get to. Yeah, yeah. Damn. What happened? Check this out. I was watching my fucking. I was watching this show. It's called Chinese Born American. Okay. I have a theory. Yeah. I have a theory, bro. I think they made that show to discredit Asians and bring them back fifty years. Whoa. This is why I'm saying that. Why? So. The cast is an all-star cast. Mm -hmm. The cast is actually the cast of everything, everywhere, all at once. The same? Like, almost the same. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, check this out. I I turned it on. I'm like, okay, this this must be fire. So, Mm -hmm. I look into it. Dog, right away, first off, the two protagonists, Chinese, Asian, right? Mm -hmm. They're the losers of the school. The school is predominantly white. Who's the cool kids at the school? The white kids. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're the jocks, blah, blah, blah. He he has negative riz. Damn. And then this is where it really pissed me off. His best friend is brown. And he's he's like also a nerd. He's also like a geek, like a loser. They make him like a loser because he uh cosplays and he's looked at as a weirdo. Mm. Why do you make him brown? Mm. That make him white then. Alive, you know what I mean? Like, yo, and at least at least if if they added a one-two Asian into the popular group, okay, okay. I would have been, I, yeah, I yeah. say less, it's diverse. I say diverse. Okay. But they made the whole popular group white. 
And it's like that the only brown kid that was the there. The only brown kid that's no. in the show. Only brown kid in the show. They also made a like a loser. Like why? Like at least Yo. put a brown kid in the popular group too. Yeah. Know what I mean, the problem I have with it, because here, the the movie it's kind of trying to tackle like Asians being looked at as this, mm -hmm. but it's not like they're trying to be woke with it. But I can guarantee you, nobody's looking it looking at it that deep. They just see the surface. Yeah. And what from the surface do we see? Every single thing we've tried to we tried to change. Mm -hmm. Asians being losers, you know what I mean? Now mad. the popular kids, yeah. And it's low-key kind of racist. Like all of a sudden, the guy is a kung fu master. What? The like, fuck? like, like he's he's like a he's like a he's like a, a god of like Chinese thing, and it's it's pretty much like a kung fu kung yeah. fu type of thing. Okay. But that's we're bringing it all the way back to the beginning, fam. Like we're all all we're cool at. Like we're losers, but. All of a sudden, if you do kung fu, you're sick. My lie, they've never heard of the yakuza, bro. Like, come on, man, we were cool, bro. You know what I mean? And then, like, ah, oh, come on, dead ass. If they just done American Dragon Drake, Jake Long, if they just did that, American Dragon Jake Long and instead, they made him like, uh, and they like live action, it would have been better than that shit. Fuck, man. But right now, it feels it doesn't sit right with me. Is this on Netflix? What is it called again? I'm gonna watch it. Chinese born American. Or actually, I should have watched it. Watch like the first episode and tell me what you think. Okay, okay. Because I told Ethan to watch it too. Yeah. Because he's, he's he's an actor, right? I'm like, okay. yo, Ethan, watch it. And uh, he, saw, he told me, yeah, this is like, this is not this good. Is it's kind of like fuck. Because I see what they're trying to do. They're trying to kind of make it like woke and be like, yo, we shouldn't, we shouldn't put these stereotypes on these. It's like, you should the think time, that deep. Like Nobody's thinking that deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody's thinking that deep. Maybe I was, maybe like a couple others, but like mm. what theory, right? They chose that cast because they're fucking, they won an Oscar. Yeah. And then they want to discredit all that. They want to put oh, like a taint on it. That's true. my theory though. That's oh, my theory. Oh, there, there was another theory that um uh, the girl who lost uh, best supporting actress. Yeah. It was supposed to go to that Asian girl, that really good Asian actor and, and everything, everywhere, all at once. Yeah. But so the thing about uh, Grammys or the, I mean the, the Oscars is that they there's always that one snub because they don't want to give the whole winnings to asian people right mm. so they were looking at it they're like okay we can't snub the main character because she's already old yeah so she might not have another good movie we'll give her the oscar mm. uh the guy uh who who's the the guy who won data, he's like data, yeah. he was like hella happy he's also very old right yeah so they're like the person that we can snub even though she had a really great role uh, she's still young. Your daughter. She'll have another role, yeah. right? So they gave it to the white. She gave it to the white lady. That was the only like white lady of that cast who won the Oscar. Mm. So fam, it's it's definitely a thing of like um, they've got to keep it balanced. So so one they like Asians always, are doing too good, man. They're, they're, Asians yeah. are doing too good, and they just wanted like yeah, bring us back down. An another thing that I I noticed recently on TikTok is that you know um at prom yeah like uh when black people do prom, it's like uh. It's like the Met Gala yeah, compared yeah. to everyone else, right? And there's like, it, there's like, people like are calling it like a hood prom, even though. What do you mean? So they're calling it like when people, when the black people dress up and yeah. they, they have like feathers on their dress and shit like that. There, there's a like whole category of they're calling it hood prom now. Why? Why so is it hood prom? At the same time, people are calling it hood prom, fam. You're, that you're racist, fam. Because at the same time, you, how can you call it hood prom when their dresses are like five hundred dollars, uh, their cars that they're pulling up in is like a thousand dollars? You know, that's all luxury, but you're calling it hood prom. You don't see the like the yeah, it, like they want to they want to call it hood prom because that's what they saying. see they see a minority, mm. you know, having fun doing their own thing. They can never just let it be, fam. That's fuck. Hood bro. prom is so crazy. Yeah, why man. would they call just it that? Just call it prom. <laughs> why do you have to add wait, hood wait, wait, in hold it? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. The school called it that? No, no, like uh, the the TikToks. Yeah, like w when white people see other like black people dress up, they're like, oh, that's a hood prom. Oh, okay, okay. You know? Okay. Yeah. It's fucked, fam. I did see a TikTok of a real like hood prom though. They, yeah. they brought all their Glocks and shit. <laughs> oh, like, okay, that's <laughs> <laughs> No, <laughs> if you see my 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 YouTube short sometimes, yeah, yeah. like. I was I was on a YouTube shorts yeah. and the like kids at prom with Glocks <laughs> <laughs> and like lasers. They go like this. Why? Why? Like, you, they're like all going like with the laser like this. Yeah. Why though? It, it looked kind of tough. I'm not gonna lie. It looked kind of tough. Well, that, that's besides the point. I like in Canada that would never slide, fam. In Canada that's illegal. Yeah. First off, but I'm pretty sure in like certain states like you're okay. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know. I don't. I'm not from the yeah, states. Yeah. But yeah. No, uh, but yeah, hood problem is don't don't coin that term, man. That's, that's yeah. Fun. Do you think, bro? This is the problem, right? Mm-hmm. It's like, it, do you think it's ever possible for 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 Asians to like get up, and then just stay there? Like they're gonna keep us dragging dragging us down. Like everybody's mm-hmm. gonna keep dragging us down at some point. Or do you think it's just like that for everyone in general? Ah. Uh, I think it's it's kind of like that for everyone. I feel like, like no, we have for, our moments, and then man just pull us down. I, I, no, I think it's like that for a lot of minorities. But there was always going to be a balance. Like we're never supposed to like be up like that. You know, we're always blacklisted from something. Like how the fuck? How the fuck we, did we go from winning the Oscars to to making that show? Like yeah. it just cheeses me. Exactly. But but it's it's something like um, uh. You know these big fashion, like or the movie, the big movie uh, producers, or you think the big there's a fashion duh. producers, right? There's a script. Do you think? No, no, no. I'm saying like they they always get their influence from the streets. Mm. So from us, from the minorities doing, we have because we have to create, right? Mm. So all these people, like their main influence that they're taking from is the streets. You can see it everywhere. H and M, they're taking kids' ideas like that are uh, local brands mm, and they're putting on a t-shirt. On, yeah. it's, it's literally all about like balance, but they won't tell you that. You True. Know? It's just corporate once exactly, it gets yeah. corporate. So we're, we're always going to be up in our own like underground way, but we're never like, they'll, there'll be a few that make it to the mainstream, but look what happened to Virgil. There's theories, you feel me, that he got up to mainstream. Look what happened to him. Mm, I had a theory about Virgil. I thought this was my personal theory. I don't want to say it like too early, but yeah. bro, it's kind of obvious. Yeah. An artist, when he passes away, what happens? The art, the value of the art goes, mm. goes up. Yeah. Oh, this is fuck. I don't even know if we should talk about this one. Why? Just say it. So they leaked. They leaked Jeffrey Epstein's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeffrey Epstein's list. Oh, you know who I saw that on there? Donovan Mitchell. It was the most random shit ever. And that... I, and a name like that being on there makes me think it's real. Yeah, yeah. no, it was <laughs> so have, like random. a random name like that. Random. That has to be real. That has to be real, fam. <laughs> like, why out of everyone, Donovan Mitchell and Ruby, Rudy Gobert? Hold on, let, let me pull up. Yeah, let pull me, let me pull up, up the list. Pull that up, fam, please. The list is kind of crazy. Cause I feel like we this is a big topic, but we've never talked about it ever. Cause it's dangerous. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> well, we're at a point. Well, all right. Jeffrey Epstein's Island Visitors. This shit's crazy, fam. Yeah. First off, we have motherfucking Celine Dion, Chris Tucker. We got Donovan, Donovan Mitchell's right there. Yeah, You're no, literally Donovan, Donovan Mitchell. Mitchell's right there. <laughs> and then Why? you have like the popular ones, like the obvious, like Jay Z. Jay Z's obvious? Yeah, of course, Jay Z's obvious. Really? Yeah, Jay Z. We got. Robert De Niro, Holy smokes, Robert man. Downey Jr., Paris Hilton, that's kind of obvious. Let's see. Gwen Stefani, uh-huh. James Franco, that's obvious. Jim Carrey, that's kind of wild. But I feel like Jim Carrey, that's obvious too because he because was- Because he was trying to expose yeah, it. Yeah, expose it. Jimmy Kimmel, obvious. Yeah. Joe Biden. Oh my God. Joe Biden wants to, what the fuck? No, I feel like that's obvious too. That's Loki obvious, he I guess. Justin Trudeau. Fam, I feel like everyone. Justin Trudeau, <laughs> yo, what the fuck? I feel like everyone who has power now has has been in that. Drake's not on this though. Yeah, shout out Drake, man. Yeah. Drake, Drake's not on this Jeffrey Island list. W, w man. Jeffrey Epstein Island. Pharrell. Yeah. Pharrell Quentin Tarantino. I kind of I kind of see that stuff. Oh my god. Tom Hanks. Ellen, of course. Ellen, of course. Um, let's see. Who else is on there? That's that's weird. Give us a weird name. A weird one. <laughs> All right, Katy Perry. Uh, kind of. I can see her. Being Eminem. There. Oh, that's kind of that's kind of crazy. Kinda, it, that, Eminem being there is kind of crazy, fam. Miley Cyrus is kind of obvious. I know MGK is on there somewhere, or it has to be. There's no way MGK is not on there. Yeah, he's he's definitely Illuminati. Beyonce. Yeah, all these people. Angelina Jolie. Okay, boom. Uh, you know what's crazy though? Yeah. This is what's crazy. Yeah. I saw this other TikTok. Okay. Check this out. So there's this there's this woman. She's doing like kind of like a TED talk. I think her name is uh her name is Barbara Marks Hubbard. And she's she's like an intellectual and she talks about things. Yeah. And she was doing this uh TED talk. She said she slipped up. She was talking about evolution mm-hmm. and talking about becoming like a better human. This is what she says. I, I realized is we are the first species on the face of this earth to be aware of evolution. To be aware that we are affecting our own evolution. Listen to what she says. Everything that we do, 
the babies we eat, the food we eat. Whoa, food. whoa. You heard that shit? What the fuck? What the fuck, man? The babies we eat? Look, listen. In a tank. wars we fight. See? And the babies we eat, the food we eat, the, f- the car- wars we fight. And then fight. she starts stuttering like, uh, uh, it, it, uh, the babies. Wait. And we do. The babies we eat, the food we eat, the babies we eat. The That's fucked. That's fucked. Yeah, there has to be some man in the crowd who had to stand up and be like, time out. So, so what's crazy, right? Theory when she's talking about evolution and people trying to like be the better human, be like, you know what I mean? Different, evolve. They're eating babies to evolve to like, you know what I mean? Cause it yeah. stimulates their mind or whatever it does. Cause it probably does some crazy shit to them. Mm. It is unethical, but you know what I mean? And that's, yeah. that's their thing. So is this deleted? This has to be a deleted Ted talk. Cause there's no way they let that. They let that. Go. I don't know. It's out there. What the fuck? It's out fam? there. Cause it was a slip. It's like a slip up, yeah. And then that I feel like the slip ups is when you really know, yeah. Like the like the what, what do you call this? Um, the one with the jacket. Uh who was it? The oh the the Freemason thing. Yeah, yeah the Freemason the jacket? thing. Yeah. It's fucked. Not nah, fam. Like when people slip up and then they show they show their true character. That's when you really know. Yeah. Like when Aiden Ross said the N word, like oh, yeah. I wasn't surprised. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like he just slipped up. You definitely knew he, he, he said. He it says all. it in his head all the time, man. Like, it's not that big a deal. <laughs> <laughs> Real talks. Real talk. But personally, I just think I don't. I don't think like let's say you say things in your head. Mm-hmm. If it's not negative, I don't think it's bad. But I guarantee you, the people that say negative things all the time, it's already a punishment enough. Oh yeah, I feel like that. That it just attracts bad energy. Yeah, because they're they're gonna get fucked up anyway. Like. Yeah. As they should, you know? Yeah. yeah. But right, this is so random, but going back to tattoos, mm-hmm. uh, you know um, uh, how uh, Hailey Bieber, uh, yeah, Hailey Bieber and uh, Selena Gomez have like this beef and like how there's this whole drama is like she's copying everything. Oh, she she's does. copying everything. Yeah, yeah. So did you know that Hailey Bieber has the same, so Selena Gomez has a G tattoo. Yeah. Like, right in her, like uh, outside of her ear. Right? Yeah, for Gomez. Yeah. No, no, for her little sister's oh, name, okay. right? Haley Bieber gets the same tattoo, same font, same position. Word. I don't know why the fuck she got it, but isn't that fucking weird? Wait, for what though? I don't Is know. Is there a meaning I for th- it? I think there's a meaning, but why would she copy Selena after everything that she's that she's getting accused for, you know? Damn. And, I, and if you didn't know this, so Justin Bieber has Selena Gomez tattoo on his yeah, yeah, yeah. on his wrist and yeah. he's like try to cover it a yeah, little and, bit yeah. and a rose yeah on which uh symbolizes like the rose he always gets for selena mm-hmm. so on the wedding when Haley Haley and they they were getting uh, married the bouquet that she had was a bunch of roses and when Haley gave it to justin he's like yo we need another bouquet bro because this reminds me too much of my ex word yeah. and but this is crazy too people are saying that uh justin bieber still fucks with selena because when in their marriage uh, pictures when they were hugging, right? Yeah. Justin Bieber went like this and showed the tattoo while <laughs> she was hugging Haley. Everybody, everybody's saying like, oh, this little thing is is a call out, is a call out, oh, it's it subliminal. Is, it is. It sucks because it kind of does look like <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, it looks like. Like even, even though it doesn't, it shouldn't be, like uh-huh. it, it all adds together and kind of looks like that. Do you think he's doing that on purpose? Because yeah, he has, has he specifically went out and said like, bro, this is, y'all need to relax. I don't think he <laughs> I has. I don't think he has, fam. So low key, you feel me, Selena? He's doing that on purpose. I mean, it, it's good publicity still. Or you it's think good, it's Yeah, it's good publicity. Damn. I don't know if you know this too, but Haley actually met Justin like when they were mad young. Yeah. Did you know that? I when know when that. the dad was like, oh, this is my son, this is my daughter, Haley. Fuck it. Oh, that's just me, bro. There's a, there's a theory that like, um, Never mind. What? We're getting too deep into like. That's good though. No, we're getting too deep. But no, we'll leave that one. Okay, out. okay. We'll leave that one out. Okay, man. but fam, powerful people, they can just you know, yeah, make shit happen. Alive, fam, <laughs> you never know. Make shit happen, fam. You never know. We we see the the new Jeffrey Epstein list, and it's fucking uh, Gavin Rudd on no, that bitch. Chill. Never say <laughs> it. I will never go to this shit. I will. This guy never. loves parties, man. You'll catch shit, him there. Yo, I'm don't playing, don't I'm say playing, that, I'm fam. Playing, I'm playing. Don't say that. Man. <laughs> I said I love parties. 
<laughs> no nah, man, yo, the, the crazy shit I seen at the club, fam. Actually, no, nah, let me not expose that too, fam. Yo, I'm getting too deep. Yeah, you almost nah, got caught right there, I'm bro. What deep. crazy thing? What are you looking at at a club? Nah, I'm, all I'm gonna say is fucking girls really just go to the club and cheat on their boyfriends, fam. It's fucked, man. That's all I'm gonna say, man. Damn, bro. Hot girl summer, the weather gets warmer, and they're at every yacht club mode event. Yeah, they stay are safe, everything. boys. Stay safe, boys. It's not my girl, girl you feel me? It's my girl, she she's good. I have a question for you though. Okay. This is actually a hot take. I just want to say this real quick. Okay, okay. I know a lot of people are gonna disagree with me for this too. Okay, okay. let me see. The only reason people would want to go to the club is to for attention. Yeah, for attention from who? From people that aren't your friends. Yeah, no. I hundred percent agree with that, fam. Cause I I'm gonna lie, when I'm at the club without my girl, it doesn't feel the same. Mm -hmm. Like, why am I really here for? Mm -hmm. Like I have a girl. Exactly. It's like I, I'm secured. Round of Wow. You feel me? Round of applause, Gavin. Round of applause, still. Round of applause. No, because really, I'm, I, I'm there for the hoes. No, no, if you really bag it, like, I, I'm thinking, like, yeah, girls always go out to the club, even though I have mans, but, like, yeah. Like, what are they really doing then? No, real shit. Like, y'all y'all want to dance, y'all want to have fun. Like, yeah. You, you can, can't you, like, dance somewhere else? Exactly. You know I mean? No, then you, like, but dance. the craziest thing, too, is, like, when girls go out and they. Uh, they don't pay for shit, right? Yeah. They finesse. They finesse from To get promoters. free drinks and shit. And yeah. what do you think? They're doing to get these free drinks, fam. They're talking. They're smooth talking. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, though. There's nothing wrong with that, but fam, that's Loki a form of flirting. Is am I wrong? Am I wrong? I mean, there's nothing like real talks. There's nothing really wrong with it, but it just, it just, it's just interesting. Like, is there accountability there? Like, am I like for me? Yeah. Being, you know. Yeah. Am I really gonna put myself into a position where I could get pussy? Like, would mm. I really do that? Would I really do that? Why? Yeah, yeah. That is true. It's like accountability now. It's like, yeah, people. It's a, okay. Look, like great example. Okay, I'm a fluffy little bunny. You know what I mean, <laughs> and I go into like a den of wolves. Yeah. Well, shit. Like, a, a, I'll probably get eaten. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you're gonna get eaten. Like, man's probably get eaten. You feel me? Like, yo, but all the bunnies are there, and we're like, we're turning up. Like, yeah, like, y'all want to turn up? <laughs> well, it's it's dark in the cave. Yeah, but the wolves are there. Alive, fam. Yeah, but there's nothing wrong with that. Like, real talk. Like, do have your fun, fam. No, I think there's something wrong with that. It's like if if your girl purposely goes out and flirts with the promoter, gets the drinks, and is literally getting drinks poured in her mouth, that's cheating to me. I wouldn't want to. You feel me? Like, even though I'm, I'm I'm good with my girl going out, fam, but that is... Okay, never, here's what I'll say. I'll never let a man pour a drink in my girl's mouth. Okay, here's what, here's what I'll say. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that, but y'all take accountability. You know what I mean? Just take accountability. Yeah. That's all. That's all. Okay. You know I, mean? I get that. I get that. Yeah. It's yeah, like, the, don't be lying to nobody. Yeah, exactly. Like, come don't home like, oh, me. I wasn't doing nothing. Like, come on, bro. We know what you're doing. <laughs> you were outside. You were outside? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. <laughs> man, I wish we could continue this, but like, there, there's there's topics we can't talk about. Why, man? Let's just continue. No, we, we can't. The Jeffrey Epstein shit. No, nah, we can't Might talk about well. it, fam. Okay, that's true. Okay, let's end it there. Yeah. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of the Jumper Jump Podcast. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe. Go check out my other channel. Link in the description below to watch my vlogs. Yes, sir. Make sure to go to Spotify, Apple Music. Give us a show a five star. Follow us both on our Instagrams. And yeah, merch coming out soon. Hit that like button and let me know if you guys think the camera quality is better. Oh, yeah. So just let me know. Just you let upgraded. Me know. Thank you. All yes, right. Sir. Jump or jump out. Deuces.